What is up everybody, White Lighting HBD here with another video and today as you can see we have a shit ton of loot. We have max gold, almost max dark elixir, and a bunch of elixir and we will be spending it all today. So first off, as you can see we only have three more level 10 or level 11 archer towers to upgrade until we have all level 12s and we will be able to do these very very quickly because I fill storage is fast up here and as you can see we're also about to hit Titans League and I'm going to be recording this in like kind of a weird order so like the next clip you'll see or the next two clips I might be in Titans League uh, and it's, it'll be weird but it'll be it'll be okay I promise it'll be okay so what we're going to do today uh, to start this off is we're going to spend all of our gold uh, on this level 11 archer tower and get this puppy going to 12 because and then after that uh, only two more and we got a little 12 guys and then we need to work our way to level 13s uh, which look really sexy if you look at that and uh, we also need to get our cannons up our Teslas our air defenses we got a lot to work on uh, but we'll get all that done and we'll do a lot of farming this push because I mean there's just so much loot up in the high champions league so with all this talking let's get into it guys level 11 to level 12 seven day 6.5 million dollar upgrade let's do it in three two one boom ah! Okay, guys, we're back, and as I warned before, we are up in Titans League. We did get it, guys. 4140 is my highest record right now, so we're going to take a pause in the upgrading and just admire the 4140 trophies that I have right now. We're a fucking Titan, and I'm actually very, very excited, and I just two-starred this base right here, uh, and I've never, like, beat it before. We'll show that raid after I spend the rest of this loot, but I two-starred this base, uh, and it's the first time I've ever beat it, and it was pretty fucking awesome, but let's spend the loot first before we do that, and we need to use our elixir, and we will use that on walls. Let me switch back to this base layout so that I know that I'm upgrading the right wall so let's do uh, a level 9 wall bam going to level 10 and then we'll do one more on uh, this bottom side right here also going to level 10 so that'll be it for the walls so uh, there goes our elixir very nice and quick but as you can see our pekkas are actually gonna be finishing up tomorrow 16 hours from now uh, but I'm not really planning on upgrading my goblins or my dragons or my jump spell actually oh wait actually should definitely upgrade the jump spell okay that'll be next we'll work on the jump spell next because I use that like every single raid so we'll do the jump spell next uh, but now we got the dark elixir and we need to spend that and there's only one way to spend it guys and that is gonna be on our archer queen where is this bitch there is she is guys 170,000 dark elixir to upgrade the queen seven day upgrade we're obviously gonna gem it up after we do that but we're gonna be getting her to level 35 unlocking a brand new special ability for her so she's gonna be very very oh wait level 34 i just whipped my own neck never mind level 34 the guys okay upgrade and boost absolutely bam the queen is dead sit down and sleep bitch yeah she stood up for a second she thought she could stand up to me no queen all right well we're gonna have to gem her up so that's gonna be like 999 gems so bam there goes all my gems and there is my queen level 34 that is awesome guys we have a new leveled up queen thick so now that all the loot is spent let me go show you this replay it was actually really really awesome uh, and it was against this base this box looking base with 506,000 gold and 600,000 elixir very appropriate uh, for a loot spending video and I've never beat it before I've never beat this base I've always attacked from the right side but I took someone's advice in my clan uh, and I went from the bottom left and it actually worked very very well and this guy was worth 37 minus 15 trophies so it was a whale and funny thing this guy actually just tweeted me saying thanks for taking those 25 cups so I'm sorry dude sorry Sonic for that but I mean you know you know how that shit goes so a uh, clan castle down along the king queen we got a jump spell going in another jump spell to go right into the middle of the base now at this point of the raid I was very very concerned that my queen was not going to go in and take the help take the town hall out uh, which she didn't but that's okay because my other troops got it covered so poison spell down along with the rage spell he does have a single target inferno uh, and that is going to cause some problems, but I did change my composition up a little bit, uh, and I've got a freeze spell going, so I'm going to drop the freeze on the queen, on the tesla, and on that single target, and that will give the king uh, and my other troops enough time to grab that town hall before the queen gets unfrozen and kills and distracts them also. Town hall, bam, going down there, guys, we get the first star, that is good, and the queen is going to be going down, actually, just kidding, uh, see, that's what happened, if I would not have frozen these defenses, I probably would not have grabbed that town hall. And uh, the whole raid would have gone to shit. So, we got our Archer Queen left. We got six Wall Breakers, six Archers, and seven Wizards left as well. Queen's special ability going to be used there. She'll grab a couple more percentage. Get us to 40%. And uh, now it is really all up. Okay, 42%. Uh, and now it is all up to our the rest of our little cleanup troop crew, guys. We don't have that much left. We have 42%. Will she get the clan castle? It's not looking like it. Ah, oh, no. Okay, very, very close to the clan castle. So uh, now we got the wall open down here, and I opened up a wall up here with the wall breakers. Uh, and I will use, I got an archer going right here to get this army camp, and I'm going to throw an archer and a wizard up top here uh, to get as many buildings as I can on the top, which only ends up just being uh, this one little uh, barrack right here. So they're going to get through the barrack, and then there's going to be a giant bomb, I'm pretty sure, or some shit. Oh, oh, just kidding. Actually, they get two barracks. I'm just kidding. I lied to you. I'm sorry. So they're going to grab this other barrack right here. Uh, and then comes the giant bomb and the archer tower going to absolutely fuck them over. So uh, they're going to die there and this archer is just chilling on the wall. Going to put a wizard to help break through that wall. Uh, and then all I 
not is a couple of troops left, guys. Four archers and five wizards. We need five more percent. I'm going to sprinkle in the rest of the four archers down here. The mortar is going to see them. He is not going to let that shit slide. We're going to drop the rest of the wizards, guys. We've got five wizards and two archers in here, guys. We need four more percentage. Can we get it? The mortar is just raining on my parade here, guys. I cannot speak. Okay, 48%. 49 giant bomb oh, 49% and gonna be getting the 50 right there the wizards with the clutch There it is guys the 50% first time I've ever two starred this base in my life And I'm gonna let these troops get this uh, this army camp as well actually and that is gonna be it guys And that's gonna give me 25 trophies with a bunch of loot now keep in mind I get my 230,000 each loot bonus on top of loot gain from this raid and I missed all this loot here But that's okay because 25 cups Two star, that's the first time I've ever like two starred or even beaten that base. Uh, so that was pretty fucking awesome. Okay, guys, we're back again, and as you can see, we're a little bit higher in cups. We shape shifted morphed into 4200 trophies. And uh, we're 4209 right now with full gold and full elixir again. Again, guys, as you can see, I fill storages really quick, and I have stopped uh, boosting my elixir and gold because I've gotten complaints, and I don't need to because I fill storages so damn fast up here. Uh, so what we're going to do today is be upgrading our last archer tower to uh, level 12, guys. This is the last one we have, uh, and then we will have all level 12s. As you can see, we got one, two, uh, three level 12s. We've got three building, so we're going to have a fourth building right here. My base is going to get fucked while these are all building. That's okay, because once they're done, my base is going to look sexy AF. So, guys, let's get it. Uh, seven day, 6.5 million gold upgrade. Three, two, one. Boom! Alright, that is done, and now we have elixir left to do, so we're gonna do two walls, so there's one right there, and we'll do another one up top. Uh, so that's all the elixir gone for this, and there it is, guys, again, I think for the second or third time this video, all of our loot is spent. Alright, and with all that loot spent and everything done, let's get to today's common question of the day, which is from Sergio Alvarado, and the question is, why did you leave daddy's darlings now i've been asked a lot lately oh hold on hold on ah oh, two cups fuck i've been asked a lot lately uh why i'm no longer in the clan daddy's darlings and it's not because i left permanently uh i actually came to the clan the lost as you can see i am the, in the clan the lost and the reason why well, here's the reason so there was this clan called eliminate right uh, i'm sure a lot of you remember them molt was in it for a while this was a big clan a lot of youtubers went in and out of this clan uh, and i had a lot of really good friends in eliminate and i was in that clan like i was like that was my home clan uh, for a really, really long time, so hold on, I gotta turn my ringer off, there's people texting me. For a while, that was my home clan, so I decided to stay there, uh, and then a bunch of stuff happened, the clan got disbanded, and everything ended, right? But I still, like, know a lot of the people that was that were, like, in that clan. So there are a lot of people in the clan, the lost, that were in Eliminate, a lot of my old friends, uh, and there are some trophy pushing friends, including Pear, uh, or Pear, Peer, Purr, however you say your name, I love you. Uh, and then Saika is in here, and Saika, I'll be making a- I, Okay, I apologize if I'm fucking your name up, uh, Psych. But I will be making a video on this guy who went from 3600 to 4700 in, like, less than a week. Uh, I'll have a video up on him, because he's a complete beast, so we'll look for that later this week. He's breaking the world records out there, guys, he's kicking ass, and, uh, he definitely deserves a video. But yeah, I'm not leaving permanently from Daddy's Darlings, I'm just coming to this clan to do a little bit of trophy pushing, and record some replays on some of my buddies, and yeah, just hanging out in this clan, and having a good time. I really like this clan, actually, The Lost, shout out to The Lost, and shout out to daddy's darlings i hope you guys are doing good without me there uh i love you all still i love daddy's darlings that is still my home clan those are my peeps uh but i'm over here hanging out in the lost for a little bit just to gather some footage and to uh basically they're helping me out with my trophy bush quite a bit because they are some pretty pretty talented motherfuckers in here you know what i'm saying no nah, but i'm just chilling in the lost uh for now and i will go back to daddy's darlings eventually so that is uh the answer to today's common question of the day for whoever had that burning question in their souls that they wanted to ask me because i've been asked a lot lately actually uh, why I'm no longer in Daddy's Darlings and I am now in the Lost. So yeah, that's why a bunch of old friends uh, and good friends I got over here that I'm pushing with. And as you can see, I'm getting fucked in the clouds. And okay, let me explain this. This is a little bit of complaining. I've been, I don't know, I've been clouding for maybe like five hours now and I found maybe two raids that were worth good trophies. The first raid I fucked up on, I forgot to drop my P.E.K.K.A.s on the first raid, uh, so I lost minus 17. I was about to shoot my fucking self. I was really mad. I was like, wow, I forgot. To, I, I, this was the end of the raid, right? Everything died in the middle of the base. I'm like, why did everything die so quickly? And then I look in my freaking, my, the bar where your troops are, two P.E.K.K.A.s just sitting in there. I'm like, fucking fuck, I forgot to drop my P.E.K.K.A.s. So then I lost 17 cups there. That, like, ruined my day. Uh, and then I just got a Town Hall Snipe for 16 cups. I went for the 2-star. got a 47%. So uh, it is not my day for trophies. And then Chief Pat is out there getting all these fucking whales. And he is now above 4,300. So good job to him, by the way. Uh, and Nick is about to break 4,300 too. And I'm still sitting at, like, 4,225. Uh, I'm getting shit on right now trophy wise, so we'll hope uh, that that improves But yeah, that's my trophy pushing situation at the moment. Maybe maybe uh, see that's all day long all day long little little cup raids like that If anything, so I'm getting screwed right now, but yeah guys that was today's common question of the day a little bit of ranting a little bit of pissed off 
stuff there, a little bit of anger. And yeah, guys, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Peace. Girls in class still, they never reply, but never say never, they never get caught on my mind. I'm trying to get better and grind, measure my effort and skill, gets better in time, fresher than ever, and I am who I am, no taking it back, I'm alive and well.